Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 100. Part 100, absolutely unbelievable, of the Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Roberts. And you might say, but Toby, it's only part 31. It's part 31 of season 2, but as a whole, this is episode 100 of the Snooker 19 series. An absolutely fantastic achievement. I hope you guys are good, and today is time for the Snooker Shootout. A very much unique tournament in the snooker season but it's a really important one since it was reintroduced in 2017 as a ranking event there's 50 grand up for grabs in this tournament and every bit of prize money is massively important we have slumped this season we definitely have slumped and 50 grand here it take us above Brussels, hopefully um, and probably get us back into that fight to get in the top eight before the players championship but again the likes of ding or Corin win the tournament and we're really not going to be able to get to that place but if you didn't watch the last video unfortunately we did get knocked out of the welsh open at the last 16 stage against mark selby um and there are only a potential there could only be five tournaments left this year with this one the players the gibraltar china and the world championships but we really need to dwell in this and the next two tournaments to get our place on the tour championship now last year um we only got to the second round of the snooker shootout we got knocked out by fergal o'brien of all people so, this is going to be an interesting one. I haven't played, obviously, the snooker shootout for a long time since that first season, but it's a definitely unique event. Again, time shot. The fact it's only the first player to win one frame in this instance. And what we're going to do today, Imji's just do as many matches as we can. Um, there are obviously seven rounds if you get to the final, but we might do the first game, might do the, you know, might do three games, depending. Well, if we get knocked out in the first, that's all we will do, unfortunately. Can't do much more than that, but we will... Uh, do as many as we can in the time that we've got tonight, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. For the part, for the hundredth part of the series, I think it is definitely worth a like. So, here we go for the first match in the snooker shootout against Van Fan Seng He. As you can see, only 20 seconds on the timer. God, it's been a while since I've played this. Only 10 minutes in the match. So weird. So weird looking at that. I remember the early online days on Snooker 19 when it used to be like this. But the Snooker Shootout is just such a different challenge. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how we get on here. But uh, an interesting safety from Fania there opens the balls. I mean, obviously, um, we're the favourite to go and win this. Because we are um, far superior in terms of ranking to Fan. And obviously, um, I keep saying obviously, but what's another word for obviously? Plainly. When the, when the 9 minutes and uh, 11 seconds or whatever amount of time is up, um, it'll be the winner of the frame at that point. The frame doesn't, you know, it's not till the frame ends, but we've missed that ping. That was terrible. Um, I mean, we, we could be out of the snooker shootout already with that. But it's whoever's leading the frame at that, at that time. You don't finish the frame. The frame is quite literally 10 minutes. You can make a clearance in 5 minutes and that be it. Or... Yeah, there might, might only be one pot in those 10 minutes. But uh, quite bad with the pink, really, there in the end. But he's just played the safety on the Browns. Didn't fancy any sort of pot. And where's the cue ball? He gets away with that. But look at the space he's left on this red. Very peculiar, um, has to be said. Half a chance here. So it's against a better player. A good pot there. And hopefully we can get off to a decent start in this break. And... Uh, Win our first match in the shootout. That's the aim. Obviously for us it's a different challenge compared to the, the AI because it takes sort of about five seconds to cue on the shot. So you, you've got to get into consideration. You can't just whip the cue ball um, forward if you like. You, you've, you've got to take time to play the shot. You can get your position done. AI will just be like bang, 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 go. Now well, you've got to pull back on the right stick. And, and that takes about five seconds. Maybe about three, I suppose, if you time it right. But, I mean, we don't have to play this too quickly. Again, we can take the timer into our hands, take our time over the shots as we can. Just means we don't have to play too many shots. And as long as we stay on the table for these seven minutes, we should be absolutely okay. And I know that's a very boring, cynical take to, to make. But ultimately, at the first round, we know what it's like to be knocked out at this stage and look like a complete fool. So, it would be good just to... Keep calm, get our snooker skills back. Again, I haven't played for a few days. I mean, that was way too underscrewed, to be quite honest. So, uh, we're going to have to go for the brown here and just screw back. And hope for something extraordinary. 
plenty of power. That's a great split. You'll be unlucky if he's got anything here. Well, nice Neil Fulton. knew it was a great split before the balls had split. <laughs> Oh dear. But I hope you guys are good. Um, I'm really enjoying the series at the moment. And I can't believe we're nearing the end of season two. The fact that we're already, well, only, if you like, on episode 31. And we we're episode 69. Um, we did 69 episodes last year. Just shows how poor this season has gone compared to the last. And it's a, it's a real shame. It is. It's a real shame. But, you know, there's plenty of time. If we start doing well in tournaments, there's no reason why we can't surpass that 69 episodes. But ultimately, you do the maths. And it might be only 40 episodes, perhaps. And it's the end of the season. But we're looking good in this first game. I don't think there's any chance for real, real shock here. Happy with that. It's definitely a different format. It's, it's nice and different, I think. I mean, it's been three players that aren't necessarily known as, as big hitters who have won in the last three years. Anthony McGill, Tep Chira and New, um, and Michael Holt. Uh, Michael Holt. What am I going about? Michael Holt. Um... Michael, is it Michael Georgiou? God, I've had a complete brain fade there. Got to be, got to make sure we hit this shot rather than talking about who's won the tournament. Yeah, it's Michael Georgiou who's uh, won the tournament in the past. So none of the big players have won it in the last three years. But that's not to say it's still, a, still um, it still is a reputable tournament. Again, there's fifty grand up for grabs. I've just said so. It's well worth uh, having a go at winning, but we didn't have any position there, so we've just gone for the safety. And that isn't a bad one at all. We'll take that. None of the reds um, distinctly open for a pot. Well, that was a bit of a dodgy one from Fan. And we've got a little bit of an opening on this red. And I think it's worth a shot. He's going for it. Well, now straight away, wherever it's there. And it's right in the heart of the pocket. Right in the middle of the pocket. And that's a very nice shot. Very nice. I'm going to say this red goes because we haven't really got the time to be buggering about with it. Jesus Christ, we've only got like four seconds. That's when the pressure starts and you're thinking, oh, does this red go? And I think, well, I haven't got the time to look. So I've just got to hope it does. And it does. Thank goodness for that. Or else we could have been pretty embarrassed there. Play into the other red and the black. Hopefully it doesn't cannon into the pocket, which it doesn't. That's fine. That should be a decent position for the black into the middle. Take that. He just wants to slot this into the middle pocket. Good pot. Can't argue That's with that. Okay, I think. Not ideal, though. Yeah, not all ideal. I'd agree with that. And we just overcompensated there. Well, we overcompensated for the red being in the way. And perhaps it should have been time to play a safety. But being cynical, I've said that a lot as well. I don't think that uh, Fansengi is going to make a break of 40 um, in three minutes. But that was a nice pink. Good recovery there. But we're not going to do this the easy way here, you know. Well, certainly not. Eight. Getting a little bit worried now. He's got a bit of a chance. <laughs> if we go out the first round, Jesus Christ. I mean, we win on £250. I don't think that even covers the travel to get here. But I think we should be alright. I mean, he's thinking a lot about this. 14. It's nicely onto the black, though. But he's used nearly half his time. And to be fair, he's got about half the breaks. So you can't argue with that. Oh dear. Minute and 55 to go. He's 19 behind, so he needs needs all three reds with colours. Well, that's a miss on the red. Don't know if that was intentional or not, but I'll tell you something. It's not worked out to be intentional. And what could have been an embarrassment being back to fan, I think we just need to make sure that we pot a few balls, just make sure we avoid any sort of embarrassment here. I really look like a complete idiot in this tournament if you're not careful. Because again, he's just over one frame, so if you miss Q or make a mistake, then you're out. Eight. Might as well let the clock run down a little bit. 
I know it's boring, but so, you know, might as well. Excellent pop. Really impressive queuing. Nine. But we're going to escape a potential win from Fan in this first match of the shootout and go through to the last 64. And we're going to take home at least a big whopping prize of £500 for getting to the last 64. Absolutely fantastic. That should effectively remove any ideas his opponent may have of a comeback. Right, you heard it here first. Taking this on to the right middle. We're not going to try to make a clear up, unfortunately, but I'll tell you something with that sort of shot. We ain't going to be able to clear up. Um, I wonder what happens here, you know. I think we're just going to let the time run out. We've actually snookered ourselves, but it doesn't really matter. Two, one, that should be us through. Frame and match, Neil Robertson. It is, correct. We're through to the second round of the snooker shootout. Not much of a match there, but just one you've got to get through. A highest break of 26, and now we move on to the last 64. Hello again, we're looking forward to some more high quality snooker as we start round two. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Neil Robertson to break. Damn, he's not the man to break. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Erzenbacher, I think it is. Alexander Erzenbacher, a player I have heard of before, but certainly haven't played him on Snooker 19. But I suppose in this episode 100, we get the pleasure of playing him today. But that is a very good break off. I think he's looking at the lowest risk escape here. Decent escape, but he's opened up the reds, and this is an early opportunity for us to go and win the frame, and of course, the match, and go further than we did in the tournament last year. Just a reminder that we went out to Fergal O'Brien in the last 64 last year, but that was a weak shot. That wasn't the best ones to get on the pink straight and then uh, play a red, so this isn't ideal by any stretch, actually. It's really not. We haven't got too much time to bugger about, so we right have to go with this shot. Hopefully we move the brown out of the way, which we do. And luckily, we've not ended up behind the yellow, which is something I feared could have happened. But we're okay. And we're just going to play this with a lot of power. Already a minute or so gone of the match. Can't be bad there. I think the hard work that Alex did to get to the last 64 was broken, unfortunately, by the fact that he... Nuka. But it's not all over yet. But this opportunity is a good one for us. Hmm, not the best uh, here though, is it? Not the best. Hmm. Just going to play into the reds. Hopefully it reaches. Well, that's a shocker. Neil Robertson, ten. Alexander That's a shocker. Ball in hand. One. We missed the Reds. Seven. <laughs> Dear. And Alex is back in. Eight. Luckily, we didn't smash the Reds open. But look at that yellow he's missed. You'd have thought that'd have been a formality, wouldn't you? But again, this, these aren't easy, so I think we're going to duck this here and just go for a, a safety. Well, hopefully a safety, of course. That would be the aim. I know there's that red on the cushion, but I don't know if he'll go for it. It's a risk. A ball Doesn't leave much else on. I wonder why that's a shootout penalty. Hey, what? I don't know a lot about the shootout format, but I've got absolutely no idea why that was a foul. Maybe because you're not allowed to play into the reds, I don't know. Really not sure. I've got absolutely no idea. I can understand what it was for before, because we, we missed the reds, but not on that occasion. But that is a little bit of a weak shot, but a good shot to recover. 
with the nice red there. I'll tell you what, we could have a problem. But he's missed the brown. But I'll tell you something. He's uh, doing well here. And well, I can't see what else we can do. We've, we've just got to play a, a safety here. Where's the cue ball, though? We're okay. 21 behind here. Is it the black? That's a mistake. And uh, it's going to be one that hopefully gets us back into this shootout match. So, 22 points needed. Four and a half minutes to do so. So we've got plenty of time. Again, it just one. becomes about getting the most points in the frame here rather than um, winning it as such. But the blue will go, which is good. Gotta ignore the fact that black's there and just play it as we would usually. Good pot. Another five on the board. We should get another six on the board here with the red and the blue. Can't really afford to take our time though because oh, we've got to open up a red. We've got to open up the reds at some point. For now, we're just going to play this red on the cushion. Hopefully it's hard enough, because as I've said, there's not much chance to play anything else. I'm really feeling the, the pressure here, I must admit. So get Q, uh, Q side, um, bulk side of the blue, and hopefully open up the reds. Be a crucial shot, this will. I hope it goes right. We need it to. That's a good split. But is that red right next to us going to affect anything? Luckily, it's not. And a red and a colour will be enough to uh, take the lead in this frame again. The blue will do. Good to get some practicing, because I tell you, if uh, we play one of the big boys, they're uh, they're not going to muck about. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. The blue, though, if it's in, will take us back ahead, That's and it has. Wonderful pot. Twenty-four. Provided we stay at the table now, that should be enough to get through to the second round. Hopefully we don't play this ball any harder than uh, is advertised there, or else it could end up in the in the pocket. But we're just going to screw, uh, screw back for one of these two reds. It was an awkward angle, but it's the only red we could get to. But ooh, is it worth taking this on? Because you know he could really damage us here if we miss the red. Worth going for though, I'd say. Risky. We're off target. Close, but not quite. But luckily, we haven't really left anything on. Apart from a real long pot on the red, and he's not took it on. Thank goodness for that. Because <laughs> if he had, you know, it could have been could have been curtains for us. Bit of a hit and hope shot here, I think. The red's going to be over the middle pocket. That's a worry. Well, he's got 45 seconds as Alexander. And he's got one of the points he needs. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this. Hopefully the clock runs in our favour. But we're running this perilously close. Crucial thing is he needs a black, really. Or else he's going to need both reds. Well, he's missed the blue, and we certainly got out of jail free there. Alexander Goodness me, that was scary. 
And we potted the red. Thank God for that. One. Four, three, two, one. Way too close for comfort, but we get further than we did last year. Thank goodness for that. We're into the third round, the last 32. This is a weird tournament, and I'll tell you something. It doesn't showcase our best snooker ever, does it? Welcome back. It's the start of round three, and things are really beginning to hot up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Neil Robertson to break. Us to break again. Liu Hoitan. Or Ho I don't know how to pronounce his name again. It's terrible, isn't it? But it's not quite serious money yet, but it's getting decent. Two grand the prize for getting into the last uh, the last 16. Again, the field has, well, gone in a quarter already. In those two matches. And it halves again in today's match. I've got absolutely no idea what Leo did there. I was about to say, what's he played the bloody yellow for? Um, oh, I've got absolutely no idea what he did there. That was really bizarre. I've got absolutely no idea what he did there. But I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> he, we broke off and he, he just decided to play the yellow. Hmm, fair enough. Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. But I've got absolutely no idea why he played that. Very bizarre shot. And luckily, that gives us a bit of a helping hand to be first in here. Can't muck about too much of position. Just got to take what you can get. And that wasn't ideal because we did tap the, the reds on the way through. So it just make this blue a little awkward. Well, play is a shot to nothing. That's a great long pot. And it's just a case of playing a safety now. But two minutes into this last 32 match. And we're looking quite alright. Sixteen points on the board. That one red has come a bit loose. And we've not covered it. Because because he played it earlier, goodness knows why, Leo's brought the ball down the table. This really is tricky. But he's missed the red, missed the opportunity that we could have potentially given him. I'm going to take this red on now. Can it move so we can use the black? Not the best shot in the world there. Should have thought about that really. Again, unfortunately, they eat you about these. Just have to play it now and hope we've got the angle right. And we have. Beautiful. Three minutes gone, and this is starting to look our most comfortable of wins yet. It's a very unique tournament, the shootout. Very bizarre. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. What a top shot that is. I tell you something, we cannot get position right on the black today. It's just time, I suppose, having the time to work it out. These matches are going really quickly. I don't know about you guys, but they are going really quickly for me. It's going to be our best one yet, though, if we can get the win, that is, of course. Nice cut on the red, and we're finally on the black. 13. And hopefully we can play into the reds now. Good split or not? Well, it split the pink. <laughs> that was about it. Unfortunate there. So, just a safety. Can't argue with that. So nearly halfway there, and Lee hasn't got a pot yet, and I don't think he's going to get one with this shot. 36 points on the board. 
Interesting shot there. Gets it back up bulk. But another chance for us on the red. This is Got a, a narrow chance. gap to get through, so this shot is requires that sort of power, but ultimately played it a bit too hard. But we got away with it there. Just a bit of luck you need. Didn't play it with precision, but as I've just said, we got away with it. Black's there. Black's always going to help. Don't think this red will go. Oh, no, it will. Great. We could actually do decently in this tournament, you know. I was a little bit worried about it before because, as I've said, we went out in the last 64 last time. I'm thinking, oh, God, we could be embarrassed here. But we're going to be in at least the last 16, as it, as it uh, sounds and as it seems here. Decent split, but nothing really opened up. But let's face it, we've got a lead of 52. I don't think Liu is going to come back into this game now. Let's just get some potting practice on the board because we're going to face a 17. a decent opponent at some point, you would think. <laughs> but none of our opponents have really been up to scratch today. Although, to be fair, you could argue until this match, we've not really been up to scratch. We've been a bit lucky. But we've done well in this match. I mean, we're lucky we're playing against a player who decided just casually to whack the yellow on his first shot. Quite know what he was doing there, but oh well, we'll let him go with it. But this is our strongest performance yet, definitely. 24. Well, it goes half a chance. This well, needs to run. I'm not sure that's what he intended. Hmm. Yeah, not what we intended at all, to be honest. But we've got a lead of 64, so I think we can just play off the red and uh, up into bulk. Not have any qualms. Take that. Three minutes to go here, and I think we should be alright. As you can see, it's pretty much the frames over. He can't even get the points, so... Is it just going to be a safety match for three minutes now? We might as well just get this done and dusted, haven't we? In style. Good shot. Position looks very good here. The black will finish it. Very well. One. Black ball we'll required. Just pot another red just to confirm it after we get the black, and that's a very nice black bear. Pot a red, pot a black, and then just play a safety. And uh, then move on to the next. Been a strong performance here. Just the kind you need. Tell you something, in the best of fives, you need to be awake straight away. My God, in a best of one, you certainly need to bloody be awake straight away. Nine. But a good win, and uh, we're into the last 16. Great stuff. 16. This could actually be the furthest we get in a ranking event all season. That would just make a mockery of all this, wouldn't it? Hopefully we don't get some sort of shootout penalty for playing that. No, it's okay. And, uh, well, he concedes the frame, and with a minute and a half to go, we've won our third match. And I'm worrying about the last 16 now, because we might actually face somebody who might just whoop us. But a good win there. Let's see who's in the last 16. Welcome back. We've already seen some terrific snooker in this tournament, and it's time now for the last 16. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame. Neil Robertson to break. Oh dear. <laughs> we only went and played him last tournament. I told you it was somebody that might beat us today. We faced Mark Selby in the last 16 for the second tournament in a row. Oh. Not the best break off in the world. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. Plan against Satnav Selby. And he's off to a good start. Wasn't the best break off from us. I mean, he's missed the green there. That's loose. These players know that a ball has to hit a cushion in this form of the game. Oh right, ball has to hit the cushion. 
one. Well, he missed the green as well, you know, but okay. Um, well, that's interesting. So, after a good start for Mark Selby, he forgets the rules and we've got bloody run out of time. Oh, no, we're okay. I thought we'd run out of time. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, we're going to take a risk here, play the black and just try and play into the reds. I don't think anybody wants to win this tournament, you know. Leo Hoetan whacked the yellow on his first shot. Then he marks out his second shot and he just missed the green and didn't hit a cushion and he's given away points. It's almost like the stars are aligned for us to go and do well in this tournament, but I'll tell you what, if you've got a chance against Mark Selby, you're going to bloody take it. I know the black is the much easier shot, you would argue, but positionally, I'm just much happier to play the blue. I'm not so if it goes, damn, 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 damn. Neil Robertson, nine. That could be it. Now, that could be it. Right. I don't think Mark Salby's going to give us a second chance. That's a real bad shot. That's, oh, that's gutting. One. Just missed, it has to be said. But he takes that to uh, blue. Gets the long red. Where's the cue ball? Oh, he's okay. Getting a bit nervous now. But he's missed the pink. No, not this time. Wow. Mark Selby, seven. Satnav Selby lets us in again. Not been so Satnav from either player really so far. This is a tricky one though. But it's there. Good red. Wasn't the best position for us, but we did okay. I know we missed the blue last time, but the black's just fraught with all sorts of issues, and I think we'll be okay on this time. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Yeah, we don't miss two in a row when it comes to blues. I'm just comfortable with the blue. And the match against the world number one... I want something I'm going to be comfortable with. Doesn't make for the best position uh, for the shot after this. But we'll work with that. This needs to be quite precise. And that's not too bad. Can't argue with that. Well, if it goes, that is. This ball... Yeah, plenty of room. I'll tell you what, when you're playing tight shots like this, that 20 seconds doesn't have to just evaporate. Well, we're looking good against Mark Selby. In a match, I thought, oh, bloody typical. Of anyone we could have played, we're playing Selby. But unfortunately, we can't play any backspin here, so we're just going to have to hopefully play into the reds, but that didn't really work out. I'm saying that, the ball hasn't stopped yet. There's a sniff of a pot there. But really, you know, I think we ought to just play play safe here. Remember. Just hit the bloody ball for God's sake. <laughs> I overplayed that a little bit. So it's whether Selby wants to take the red on. Neil Robertson. Built up a good cushion of 26 point lead though. And Satnav Salby's not going to take that on, so that's good for us. And, uh, well, he's left another chance here. Again, it seems like nobody wants to win the tournament. Well, not the best safety there. We've got another chance. And every ball we pot, every second we stop Mark Salby being at the table, is one way we're going to be through to the next round. They tried it. We know what a prolific long draws against Salby in the round of 16. And uh, it hasn't worked for him this time, has it? I don't know why I'm saying them. It's not an establishment thing. Good red again. You'll notice we played much better in this the third and fourth match than we did uh, the first two. But there were scrappy games. We got on with it and uh, we played well in them and we won. So, in fact, we didn't play that well, but 
in all, to be honest, as long as you get the points you need, it doesn't matter how well you play. 14. And with three and a half minutes left here, it looks like we're going to knock uh, the Jester from Leicester out. We're going to be in the last eight, and you know the money starts to become decent at this point, to be fair. I think it's five thousand for winning this in this round. Um, Ten thousand for twenty thousand for getting into the final, and fifty for winning it. You know, in most taunts, you definitely take that. So it's worth experimenting with. Definitely is to see if we can do well. And now that we beat the Salby, well, that just uh, adds a little bit more excitement and to, Ooh, I fancy this tournament now. I'd say with some confidence that we will knock Selby out now. I mean, with half minutes left, and we've got a 49-point gap. So the heartbreak of losing 3-2 to Mark Selby last episode can all be forgotten. Because we've beaten him 1-0 today. There you go. Neil Folds confirms it. But a great performance. Admittedly, we've had a little bit of luck with the way Salby's played, but you know, you could say that other players have some luck with how we play sometimes. You still gotta pop the balls. that's a top shot. Not bothered about finishing off the break really. Just wanted the ball to hit the cushion. So I don't think Salby's gonna come back to the table now. That's beautifully judged. And uh, we should be in the last eight. We are absolutely fantastic. Well, 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 we've come a lot wider than we did in the uh, in the tournament last year. Really enjoyed that. And I say really enjoyed that because that is where we're going to leave it um, for today's edition of the Snooker Shootout. On Saturday, um, we'll do the second part of the tournament, which hopefully involves um, us going all the way because we've not really faced much of a challenge so far. Let's see first off who we're playing in the final eight of the tournament. It's Luca Brissell in the quarter final, as you can see. 4,000, sorry, we've earned from the tournament so far. 8,000 for the semi. Um, and it's not too shabby at all. So, next episode, we're going to play uh, hopefully three further games. That'll be absolutely fantastic. We've got Luca Brissell next. Could be out, so, could be an interesting last eight. But uh, to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a notification when that video does come out. Also, comment down below your thoughts on the Snooker Shootout and like if you enjoyed episode 100. A pretty special and often unorthodox way to spend episode 100. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the previous 99 episodes before it. Thank you very much for your support. And here's to another 100 episodes of Snooker 19. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.